well. Good morning. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us again. Lou's going to wave now. Normally she says morning, but this is about the third or fourth time we've tried doing this, and every time she says morning, the dogs kick off barking. And all you can hear is them. Shall we try it? Yeah, See go on. Morning. <laughs> oh, there you go. <coughs> anyway, today hopefully is going to be a good day. Um, we have the part. This is what we've been waiting for to get our engine repaired. Um, and uh, we had a follower that's let us use their address. They're only five, ten minutes up the road here in Birmingham. Uh, and they very kindly had it delivered there and brought it to us last night. So, uh, fingers crossed, it's the right part uh, and it's going to fit and solve the problem. Then we can get moving. Yeah, because we are really desperate for water. We've virtually run out of water now. Um, so, uh, yeah, we need, to, we need to get moving and we need to carry on making some orders that we can't do here in Birmingham because we need to put make a lot of noise basically yeah. and we can't do that here so I think it's time to keep our fingers crossed get this part fitted and see whether we can breathe life back into Lady Brian let's get going come on then Don't get them mixed up now and put the old one back on. Oh no. I'll <coughs> know the difference because one's nice and clean and one isn't. And the threads are the same. Which is a good thing. That means we can just put this straight in. You've not put no PTFE on it. You don't need to. Alright, oh, okay. No, it's um, it's a pipe thread so it, it doesn't really need it. Okay. And uh, I don't know whether they get a ground contact through the engine. So I'm putting PTFE on could give it a bad grounding. Right, okay, so. I just thought I'd check. Yeah, no. It's always worth checking. I don't want to over tighten it and break anything. You don't want to break it after we've just had all that rigmarole with getting it. No, exactly. <coughs> right. The connections are on. So, it's now just a case of uh, keep fingers crossed and start her up. We'll check the oil level first though, just make sure everything's fine and then uh, good to go. What are you doing now? Checking your dipstick? Aye. That's because you are a dipstick. <laughs> but you shaking your head up before? It's too early for jokes. <laughs> That looks perfect to me. Yep, that will do, it'll do. Could do with a service though now. Yeah. I think once we know this is fine, we'll, we'll get a service done. Right, fingers crossed. Here we go. Still screaming. Oh. That's not what I wanted to hear. <laughs> it's the 
should be able to get caught full to gauge it's gone out. Doesn't she sound lovely? Finally, Lady Brian is fixed. Fingers crossed. Oh, we've had a nightmare though. So obviously we got the part, we've put that part in as you've seen, the alarm was going off still. Um, so evidently that part wasn't at fault. So um, I was stressing out so I've not filmed anything I needed to just deal with this and usually it was a sounding board to bounce ideas off and I got my head round it and got it back down to wiring now I'd already checked the wiring before um, before I ordered the part because I didn't want to order a part I mean that part cost me all in I think £95 um, which is £95 I didn't want to have to spend before Christmas and it turns out it's £95 I didn't have to spend but I did get quoted £145 for a part as well so and putting that on eliminated the fact that it was a bad sender uh, which means I could concentrate more on looking on the wiring so we've stripped the wiring back and found out because I was checking the continuity of the wire and that was coming up fine so there was no breaks in the wire but then we found out that I was getting continuity with another wire as well in other words somewhere along the line these two wires are touching so um, yeah we've had a fiddle we've had a plan the long and short of it is those wires are now no longer touching everything's fine and she's running as sweet as a nut um, so yeah all is good we just have to keep our eye on that now and just make sure we've not got a leak on oil make sure everything's good because um, we might need to top oil up because obviously the oil sender was empty so it could pump round into that so I might have to check the oil level again and just maybe top up a little bit, I think. Um, but yeah, for now, a sigh of relief. Because uh, it means we can get back to where we need to be in life. And more importantly, we can go and get water. So uh, yeah, we need to finish up here now in Birmingham and uh, make a move. Right, next job. Well, good morning guys, morning. and uh, it is a good morning. So um, after repairing the engine a few days ago, we've run the engine a couple of times, been checking the oil, checking everything, making sure that the oil level stays right and uh, everything is fine. And uh, yeah, touch wood, up to now everything has been fine. So as you can see, we've moved. Yay! All of a few hundred yards. <laughs> from back that way <coughs> excuse me to where we are now which if I spin round that way uh, you can see BT Tower there and uh, we're just at Cambrian Wharf um, because we're filling up with water yes we finally got some water in the uh, in the water tank so uh, that puts the ballast back in the front and uh, means we can actually have you know, have showers the in the boat and uh, a nice hot shower on the boat. Oh. Yeah, nothing better than our shower. So uh, yeah, all is good. We've managed to get rid of rubbish. We've managed to do that. We've just got to reverse the boat. It's a bit tight for us to turn in Cambrian Wharf, so we're going to head backwards. 
we're going to turn at the junction and then we're hot hoff we're hoff huh? we're what? hoffing we're hoffing where we're hoffing to we're hoffing to home basin um and the plan is to stop in home basin tonight <coughs> before we press on again tomorrow fill up with diesel yeah well, it's about five hours from here into home basin so by the time we finish doing what we're doing this morning we did have an early start but um it will be getting dark um and we're going to fill up with diesel though because we've got the fire on 24 hours a day now in the it's next freezing. well it's it's going colder but in the next few days we're going down to minus two minus four i add oh well there you go minus two minus oh. four either way we're in minus figures so it's going to get cold we want to make sure we've got enough diesel for the fire um and at the time we're recording this home basin of selling their diesel at 1.5p 1.5 so fill up as much as we can hold um is the plan and like i said and then tomorrow we'll be off again on our travels so uh we just need to fill it with water Take run a couple of yeah it is a bit slow on here run a couple of errands and then we're off so uh yeah Yay. right what should we do have a brew yeah you making it i'll refresh it are you making a brew no you are <laughs> Well, um, I'm inside the workshop and so far, so far, so good, touch wood, uh, we've done about an hour and a half of journey, the engine's running as sweet as a nut, all the dials are reading exactly as they're meant to be, so I think, uh, yeah, sigh of relief, uh, she's fixed. So uh, I'm inside the workshop as you can probably tell. I've got, let me see if we can get it in, I have got a workbench full of uh, items that are all at the point that I need to stitch them up. So uh, I'm going to start stitching these up. Lou's going to cruise us at least up to the turn where we turn to get down to the Netherton Tunnel. Because uh, she's alright, but she just panics a little bit on the on the bends at the minute, on the junctions. <laughs> There you go, you see guys, someone's been and cut the trees down. <laughs> Thanks Lou, you've just told everybody on YouTube. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. That's how we keep in touch anyway between workshop <coughs> and the back of the boat, so she'll let me know when we come up for that turn. But it means I can crack on and get some of the orders done for uh, for Christmas and uh, when we get to our destination we can head to the post office <coughs> excuse me so it saves a bit of time anyway I need to carry on uh, doing some stitching <coughs> I'm just finishing stitching this off but uh, I think we've just come up to the turning and uh, despite what I said earlier Lou wants to try and get round the turning on her own and handle it on her own so fair dues to her but uh, we might have a lot of engine noise if uh, we're hitting a lot of reverse and like that so I'll get round the corner and I may get a call to go and give her a lift so we'll see how she does. She's more than capable. There we go guys, see, 
she can do it sometimes just being thrown in at the deep end like that is all you need and it just builds a confidence up and do you know what we never even touch sides well done proud of her right and that is this piece very nearly that piece finished an anti-vandal pouch cool right. I've had a shout from Lou and we've had to stop uh, well you can see uh, that's the old line and we're on the new line this is Brompton Junction and there's all these spill kits around Apparently 20,000 litres of diesel has been spilled into the canal. Uh, so they've put air curtains up, which are... Uh, they're basically just a pipe in the canal, blowing air through it. And uh, the bubbles go out either side and then push the diesel spill one side and another. <coughs> and help it <coughs> disperse it and contain it um, now we've checked because these pipes are on the surface um, but according to Canal and River Trust the canal isn't shut and there's no restriction so and we think agency yeah, us, and the, the two guys up there they're from the environment agency and they're monitoring it um, now everybody seems happy for us to pass over the top of it so uh, yeah, I think what we're going to do is uh, kill the engine and we'll just drag the boat over by rope um, and then once we're on the other side of it we'll carry on our journey uh, but if we do it that way at least we're not going to get hung up on something and uh, end up causing more damage but yeah 20,000 litres we'll of show diesel it, show it on when we get to it we've seen but, pictures uh, of it already yeah, that's a lot of diesel, especially at today's prices. That's going to cost somebody a lot of money as well with a yeah. big fine. Well, apparently it came from up there. Where am I? It's come from up there and it's escaping down here. That's why that's boomed off. And then they're trying to contain it in that pound there. But yeah, let's go and have a quick look and then we'll get this boat moving again. Well, there's no doubt about it that is definitely a bad diesel spill yeah. all you can smell at the minute is diesel oh it's it's awful yeah it's an awful smell oh, oh, I mean, whole wildlife yeah at least it's, they're dealing with it yeah they're dealing with it but see at here coming at half 12 yeah meeting up with well, the this environment is, i think this there. has been going since friday right wow. so it's been going all weekend so i don't know what the situation is but yeah it doesn't look as bad where we are now but as you cut through it and the water starts rippling it gives that rainbow effect of all the diesel on so it's a huge spill yeah what a shame yeah like i said before somebody's going to get the bottom smacked for that oh right yeah there. someone will get a big fine for that i would imagine oh, and God, uh, yeah. that's going to become very costly but uh Hopefully they can contain it and 
it's not going to do our boat any good really yeah. because that diesel and everything could damage our our blacking i'm hoping because we're, we're kind of moving through it and not just sat in it sorry i'm not oh. sure about that <laughs> alexa thought she'd answer yeah. back thanks alexa but um yeah hopefully it shouldn't damage the boat Um, just thought, seeing as uh, Alexa chipped in, we thought we'd just show you, because we've actually, Lou likes cruising um, with the Alexa on the back, so she can listen to her music. Um, so if, you, if you, you often see her, if she's on the back and she's got this going, you'll often see her dancing away on the back of the boat. I've had a few subscribers comment on that. I haven't asked singing and dancing my head off yeah, on the back of the boat. singing, dancing. Oh, she's Not proper that I giving can it. sing, because I can't sing for topping. Proper giving but... it large. <laughs> but, I don't think we've ever shown you this. This is our Alexa. Let me show you. So it's uh, an Echo Show 5 that we have uh, and we got a deal when we got the Blink cameras uh, off Amazon and for the um, Echo Show 5 on Amazon they have this uh, stand which is also a battery pack um, so when you're on normal power you, she plugs in using the normal um, Echo cable and then when you're not connected she provides her own battery bank and we get about 10 hours uh, use out of that with her uh, at about volume 5. I have her at volume 10. Yeah, so we'll get slightly less. But I think on the back as well, yeah, there is a, 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 I don't know if you can see that, just next to the little round charging port, there's a USB port. So you can actually use it as a battery bank as well. So not only can Lou have the radio on out here listening to music, but she can plug her phone in and use it for charge your phone as well. Um, and a little pieces of kit if you've got an Echo Show 5. I'm sure they'll do them for other uh, Echoes, but I'm not entirely sure. But what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description box to where we got that one from. And then if you've got an Echo Show 5, I can highly recommend these because uh, they're fantastic, aren't they, Lou? Yeah. Yeah, we use it a lot. Well, I use it a lot. Yeah, and it's great because we also do it um, if we have to leave like if we go shopping we go into town something like that <coughs> um, and we don't want to leave the inverter on we can just turn that on and leave some music playing for the dogs so uh, and it's not affecting our batteries yeah, or anything it doesn't draw anything off the batteries so it's a good way of having uh, your um, amazon stuff on um on like 12 volt So I think we're through it, uh, we hope we're through it. There's another boom there, a white boom, and there's a couple of guys there, you probably see them just walking off in yellow. Look, um, they was walking up as we was getting to it, so they've moved it for us. Yeah, um, we've checked <coughs> a couple of times now, and the notification from Canal and River Trust says that the canal is open and that there is no need for a navigation closure and there is no restrictions it needs closing. but there are restrictions because they've got these white booms across um, so they've led us through but it looks like um, we've been told that Canal and River Trust are coming out at about half past 12 today and everybody's pushing for them to close the canal it needs it doesn't so, it so uh, it definitely needs it because they ain't going to clean that up in any kind of a hurry I mean, there's really still not. remnants of it here, yeah. asked, but nothing like there is yeah. back there. They're trying to vacuum it out with the looks of it. They're going to be there for days. So I think we've we've just managed to get through that, yeah. uh, luckily. Uh, Within the next hour or so, it'll be shut. Yeah, probably. So luckily we can get through and we can still get on for our diesel, which is good because it means... Uh, I can keep the fire going. Yeah. <laughs> 
otherwise that would have been getting a bit close with diesel um, with the temperatures I dropping am. so uh, yeah it looks like they've got it all in hand and uh, we're through so uh, right let's crack on Lou let's get to home base and get some diesel I'm on it it's dinner time now though yeah it is but I need to get some more work done <laughs> 